this is this was our collector, a polycarbonate tube. We're only uh, we have a um, a simple Andy Mark motor with an AM plan out there and about a one and a half to one reduction. Uh, the arm would be down. We would collect the ball in, and it would roll it up onto a base. We had that in CAD. We have a, a prototype of a, of a launcher arm over here. This this was our launcher arm. The ball was going to come up. If it was like this, and then launch up like that. So a pretty short arm. That was one of our concerns. We have all this in CAD. All the electronics in CAD. I believe we were able to we, we were able to get it driving around yesterday. That was pretty easy. Um, I believe the pneumatics are, are plumbed up. Are they functional? Uh, I was working on that. Okay, so that's what we're finishing up the code. And we do have some CAD over here. We kind of have some interesting sort of design tools that we use. So this big giant thing here, that's the flight path of the ball. So we know kind of what space within the robot we need to keep free and keep out of. Um, we also went ahead and modeled in our starting size volume and the extended size with the 20 inch, you know, reach. That way we know with our arm how, you know, far out we can reach and still, you know, we know here that we're, we're inside that space so we're good to go. We meet the rules. So what I'm working on here is cleaning up, um, this orange shape that we have in here. This is the shape that you know defines some of the the internals of the robot. Um, noticed uh, earlier today that there was a few slight tweaks with that, so we want to make sure that that's right uh, before we get that sent out uh, as the full CAD package later today. So this here is is both the ready to fire position of the catapult arm, and then this is the fire position. And here you can see our Nautilus cam riding on the bearings, both to keep it tensioned. And then also the bearing is uh, tucked in there underneath the motor to stop it once it's fired. So we kind of fully integrated all in one system. We have our, our tensioner, our loader, and then also our stop to make sure that the catapult comes to a, you know, actually flings the ball and doesn't, you know, follow all the way through. We use the Nautilus cam to bring back the right. flinging arm. And then it's powered by a number of runs of surgical tubing that'll be looped over the arm and brought back down inside the robot um, and that was one of the things we actually prototyped that physically, uh, and we were before this cat is not complete. Obviously, we we would have liked to build these parts and get it working, and then and then pick up the prints and tweak them and make sure they're right. So we're gonna let people see this, but please know that this is not cat that you can take and print and and make all the parts you want and then have it work perfectly. It will not work perfectly. This is a good starting point for CAD. So you can, I challenge you guys to take this CAD and make it work, take it to the next level and, and get things working. But I think we've done a good job with getting a CAD package together and that's how we design. So um, we just weren't able to, to build parts for the last day and a half, which helped us, which hurt us and making this thing actually physically work. And we're sorry about that, but we had to go pack orders, as you, as you know. So anyway, um, there you have it. Uh, we will be releasing this, and we'll have it available um, in a step format, and possibly a pack-and-go format in SolidWorks, but definitely in a step format tonight. Thanks.